That reticulitis is severe inflammation of the intestine, which can lead to serious pain and even surgery. Dr. Greg Silverman joins us now. I'm going to jump right into it. My Other things you don't this. want. Yeah. Yes. My father had this, and when you sent this to me, I was like, I know exactly Let's what Let's talk is. about this. Yeah. And it, basically, what it is is the inflammation of the diverticula, which are small outpouchings generally in your colon, generally in the left side of your colon, the lower left side of your colon, and that's generally where it hurts. It is inflammation and potential infection of that, and that is what causes the pain. We have some pictures. Hopefully, we'll be able to pop them up here in a yeah, second. Yeah, hopefully we will, because that's the best thing that I can do to describe what these it's things like are. It's a little squiggly, and then like, I know there, strawberry seeds, nuts. And that, well, the, that's the old thought of that, but generally, uh -huh. it, it's not been proven that, that those kind of undigestible kinds of things get stuck in these diverticula and can cause in infections there. It's, it's basically undigested food, we believe, and just sometimes those pouches can get infected and inflamed and can rupture, and when that happens, it's, uh, t it's a big deal. Apparently, we're having some problems with our pictures. I'm trying okay. to pull up one on my, uh, yeah. like, like, just to describe it. Okay, so it's one of those, like, you start with antibiotics. Is that correct? Correct. Generally okay. start, it, well, if you do have this, if you have this, lots of people have this. Between 10 and 50% of people over age 50 have diverticula, these small outpouches. The question is, is are they going to get infected? And we don't quite know exactly what causes the infections of these things. We generally believe it's undigested food particles, um, uh, and, and that makes it in, inflamed, and, that, and that's what hurts. Okay, if we can get our camera set up, I'm going to do this. I'm going to right zoom in up. so we can. Here we go. We're going to make this work uh, one way or another <laughs> if I can get my director to zoom in. Um, ultimately, here's the thing. Like, if you think, oh, the doctors told me that's a consideration, something I have to worry about. The worst case scenario, they go in and cut you open and have to... Correct. You don't, and remove you, your bowels the, are not the same. Correct. And remove the areas of where you have the diverticula. Or remove the areas of inf inflammation. You can see the small little outpouchings in your colon here. That's on the I guess the left side of your screen or the right side of your screen would be see where the where the colon is and see where there's a small little outpouchings. Those things get infected, and that is diverticulitis. Serious pain. Correct. I mean, like, like hurling over. Correct, kind of. correct. And it doesn't go away. It's not going to go away by itself. Mm -hmm. These are infections. So you, generally, you got to go see somebody, and generally, you get admitted to the, to the hospital. Does Genex play a role, or is it just one of those? Not necessarily. Well, you know, what we believe is that it's, it has to do with um, American types of diets that are relatively um, low bulk, relatively high fat. Um, where there's not a whole lot of fiber. And we believe that it is fiber and bulky foods um, that decrease the pressure on your, on your colon. You know, when you have bowel movements, it decreases the pressure, decreases the risk of, of causing these diverticula. Okay, Dr. Silverman, we know it's right before breakfast, but hey, this is serious for the ladies <laughs> whose husbands aren't listening to the go, doctors. You got to push them. Go on out it. there and start eating fiber. Yeah, go out exactly. there and add, More that's, fiber. The, that's the key. Yeah, and, yeah. and there are places you can go to look for high fiber diets, that kind of Sir, stuff. Sir, thank you. We always appreciate your input. Okay.